everyone and welcome back to my channel Historical Bell. I am Marie of Historical Bell and today I'm going to show you how I made a mid 19th century winter hood. I made this winter hood as part of the collab project that I am doing with Dixie of Dixie DIY, Melissa of Hat to Hem, and Elise of Well Dressed Historian. We are all making outfits themed after our favorite March sisters from the classic story Little Women and of course I am making a dress and of course the accessories for the dress for Beth March. So this hood is going to be part of that project and please stay tuned as we debut our dresses in early December. I started looking for a pattern for an 1860s winter hood and I found this one by Anna Warden Bowersmith on Etsy. It is an electronic pattern that you download and print out at home. It also has a 31 page directional booklet that comes with it and it is incredibly detailed. The pattern for this hood is based off of an original in her collection that was made between 1840 to 1860. I don't know if I've ever used an electronic pattern before that I then had to print out tape together and I was a little nervous doing that. I usually like buying paper patterns but this was really easy to put together and made me feel very confident in using electronic patterns. I was also just really impressed with this pattern in general. It had incredible attention to detail and really focused on historical accurate construction in the directional booklet. If you would also like to get this pattern the link to Anna Warden Bowersmith's Etsy is in my description box. In chapter 18 of Little Women, Beth is described as having a brown hood. Therefore, since this is one of the few accessories that Beth is described as having, I wanted to make it to go with my ensemble. So it's described as being a brown hood, and we know that hoods are made out of wool. So therefore, I'm using a brown wool. It doesn't describe what color her hood is lined with so therefore I decided to do what I personally like and that is to have wine colored burgundy little hint of purple satin fabric as lining. Most accurately a hood would be lined with silk but as a challenge to myself I am using all things in my stash therefore I'm using a nice satin and also this quilt batting. It could have been thinner but this is what I had so therefore that's what we're doing. So here I am pinning all of those layers together and sewing them together. This was a really great stash buster project because you don't need large amounts of fabric, but it still creates an incredibly useful and beautiful garment. Now it's time to turn the brim inside out and begin quilting it. This is one of the first times that I've ever truly quilted something and oh my goodness, I had so much fun doing it. It probably doesn't sound like a lot of fun because it's a lot of tedious work, but I really actually enjoyed it. It was kind of meditative. I decided to use a diamond quilting pattern and I made it one inch wide. As you can see, I'm using the width of the ruler here to mark out and then uh, pin it. So I decided, well, we're going to mark and sew all way one way, and then we'll go back and do the other side, going the opposite direction to create a diamond. There was then a lot of just really, again, kind of tedious, but also rather meditative, just top stitching straight lines. Well, they're not exactly straight. They're diagonal, but essentially it's a straight line. I 
was so satisfied with how it looked just with stitching in one direction and you can kind of see how it's going to look when it has the diamond pattern on it which i'm so excited to show you so let's start doing it again i'm doing the same exact thing just the opposite direction so i'm taking my one inch ruler and i am then going diagonal from the other direction creating a beautiful diamond pattern just on the brim of the hood the brim is the only part that i quilted um in the instructions it talked about possibly quilting like the the back neck covering uh but i didn't want to do that so i'm just quilting the brim Now it's time to put together the back of the hood so that, you know, my head will actually be covered and remain warm. I am, of course, using the brown wool as the outer layer and then I'm just using some white cotton. Yes, it was a cotton bed sheet. I love using white cotton bed sheets as lining for things because they're perfect. So I stitched these together, flat lined it, and then I put another gathering stitch around the top to then, well, gather it, which I'm doing here. Here I am attaching the back of the hood to the brim. To do that, I am just going to pin it and then sew it with the right sides together. I am trying to evenly distribute the gathers, but I am going to have a few more gathers right at the top of my head and not as many going down the sides. So let's try it on. It finally looks kind of like a hood. So let's see how it looks. Ooh, all right, giant brim. Very long. Let's see how it looks turned back because this is how you're supposed to wear it. Better, better look at that. It's so shiny. It looks kind of weird right now but that's because it doesn't have the nut flap that's supposed to go and be attached to the back i think it's going to look much better once i get that on but lucky doesn't seem to care lucky lucky likes it as long as i'm holding her lucky lucky does not care So the correct term for this neck flap is actually bevelé, which is much fancier, but also so much harder to pronounce. So I'm just going to call it a neck flap. Okay. Okay. So I decided to line the bevelé or neck flap with, again, the pretty burgundy wine colored satin, because you're actually probably going to end up seeing that in lining. I sewed the the lining and the outer fabric together and then put in a gathering stitch across it so i can well gather it to the correct shape and then attach it to the hood which i am doing here we're going to pin it together and it's going to look so much better you know sometimes you just have to wait until a project comes all the way together for it to look how you want because sometimes you'll get in the middle of a project well at least i'll get to the middle of a project and i'll be kind of discouraged because it doesn't look quite like i want it to look but then i have to remind myself marie you haven't even finished this project you're halfway in the middle you gotta keep going for it to get done Then all 
that was left was to attach the ribbons to the hood. I chose these pretty blue ribbons that I had in my stash and then I just sewed them right onto the hood right at the neckline so that it would tie nicely below my chin. And then the hood was done. I am very pleased with how this project turned out and I can't wait to show you how it looks on me done during the reveal of all of our Little Women costumes. Now as I leave you, as we conclude this video, I want to read to you the little section where this hood is mentioned in the book. Jo laid her wearied head down on Bess' little brown hood, which no one had thought of moving from the table where she left it. It must have possessed some magic, for the submissive spirit of its gentle owner seemed to enter into Joe. Little Women, Chapter 18